kinumpirma ng Bureau of Immigration ang pagdating ni dismissed Bamban Mayor Alice Goo sa Kuala Lumpur International Airport noong July 18. Isang malaking tanong ngayon ang bumabalot sa isyo, paano siya nakalusot? At higit sa lahat, sino ang nagpalusot? Sa ilalim ng masusing investigasyon, lumabas din na may naging lapses si Attorney Emmer Galicia nang kanyang ipanotaryo ang counter-affidavit ni Goo noong August 14 kaugnay ng reklamo ng DOJ patungkol sa human trafficking. Ang nakakabahala, si Goo ay nasa labas na ng bansa nang ito ay isagawa. Ang ganitong pangyayari ay nagpapakita ng posibleng pagpapabea, kung hindi man tahas ang paglabag, sa tamang proseso ng batas. Kapag ang isang opisyal na may kinakaharap na kaso ay nagawang makalabas ng bansa ng walang sapat na hakbang o monitoring, hindi may iwasang magduda ang publiko sa integridad ng ating mga ahensya. Bakit tila may mga butas sa sistema na pabor sa mga makapangyarihan at nasa posisyon? Kung hindi ito agad maaksyonan, maaaring magkaroon ng domino effect kung saan ang ibang mga sangkot sa katiwalian ay gagamitin din ang pagkakataong ito upang umiwas sa pananagutan. Ang papel ni Atty. Galicia ay lalo pang nagbibigay linaw sa kabuuan ng problema. Kung may lapses man siyang ginawa, ito ba ay hindi sinasadya o may mas malalim na dahilan? Kung hindi ito agad masisiyasat at matutugunan ng tamang aksyon, maaaring magdulot ito ng seryosong epekto sa ating justice system, lalo na kung palalampasin ng mga autoridad ang ganitong uri ng kapabayaan. Ating panuuring ang mga highlights sa nakaraang pagdinig, dito lang yan sa Pilipinas Balita Now. By the way, uh, can you give us an update po dun sa status ng investigasyon nyo dun sa pag-eska po ni Nagwohuaping at yung party niya? Thank you very much, Floriana. Yung first theory po namin was uh, the subject entered uh, Malaysia via sea. Mm -hmm. Ang second theory po, uh, she entered it via air. Now, um, meron po, Your Honor, uh, initial report that we submitted informally to your office. I would like uh, to take this opportunity also to apologize to Senator uh, Villanueva. Uh, Ma'am, uh, sir, nagbibigay po kami ng updated uh, reports ko po kay uh, Madam uh, Chairperson. Yun lang po, informally po, uh, Your Honor. Because as committed by the Bureau of Immigration, we wanted to give you updates as to how the investigation is ongoing. The investigation is still pending and we will get into the truth of the matter. Uh, ito po yung second phase ng report po namin, uh, ad albeit um, admittedly incomplete pa po, ay ibibigay po namin ngayon. Ang naging basis po namin in making the report on the international airports of entry and exit are the following. First, we got the attendance record of all international airport terminals from July 1 to 20, 2024. Second, we got the submitted reports of flights by terminal heads in all international airport terminals from July 1 to 31, 2024. We already, we also got the submitted reports by yung IPROBS team po namin yan, who yung nagkoconduct ng secondary inspection in the international airport terminals from July 1 to 20, 2024. We also got the consolidated summary of documents evidencing chartered and special flights in selected international airport terminals from July 1, 2024 to August 15, 2024. We got the certifications from terminal heads of international airport terminals, attesting that the persons in interest did not pass through inspection in their respective jurisdictions. We also got subsequent sworn certificates from the terminal heads, reiterating their de declaration in compliance with the directive of the Bureau for them to submit the reports and certifications. We also got Pag-asa weather forecasts and advisories issued for the period of July 1 to 25, 2024. And lastly, we uh, got other information from personal inquiries with terminal heads. The, this report, uh, your honors, can be provided to the members of the committee for your perusal and uh, further study. If I may, Madam Chair, uh, I think the, the million dollar question is, in that particular uh, documents that you were uh, uh, sharing with us, yes. saan po doon yung unang na saitan ah. uh, sila uh, go huwaping? Uh, if uh, your honor would permit me, if I can continue on with the report and then I will reveal it. Please you. include oh, that again. in the course yes. of yes. your okay. full report. Thank you. Uh, so, one relevant data that, that we were able to gather was the July 2024 weather, your honors. Based on pag-asa, there was no existing 
tropical depression or significant weather anomaly that may negatively affect small boat travel in the west and southwest area for the period July 1 to 15, 2024. However, relevant data will show that there may already be significant adverse effects in sea travel starting July 16 because of the buildup of Puchoy. It was on 90 to 21 July 2024 that both Buchoy and Karina mm -hmm. fully developed from being a tropical depression in the southwest monsoon to tropical storms. Buchoy left the Philippine area of responsibility on 20 July 2024, while Karina wreaked havoc in the Philippines until 25 July 2024. Notwithstanding the foregoing, air, fli air flights were only delayed or moved. But uh, this lowers the possibility of uh, going the route via sea because of the, the tropical depression and then the uh, typhoons which uh, eventually develop. In the analysis, we also focused on special flights as taking a commercial flight would be highly risky considering that uh, the persons in interest are, you know, uh, high profile. Mm -hmm. So strict screening and surveillance, airports have strict security protocols, including identity verification through passports and government issued IDs, making it highly likely that the persons in interest would uh, be flagged during security checks. Flight databases and watch lists, the persons in interest have been included in an immigration lookout bulletin, and such issuance could trigger immediate effects and alerts to law enforcement. Madam Board. Chair, if I may. Yes, yes sir. President. If I just may interrupt, Attorney. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You, you mentioned earlier that airports were very strict. Yes, sir. All right. If, for example, I've mentioned this earlier in one of my privileged speeches, uh, the persons in interest, especially uh, Alice Go, took a... Uh, Private, a chartered plane, a private yes. plane in a small airport. No, walang kaap, walang representative of kaap, walang representative ng BI, wala talang government official. Yes, ma'am. That's possible, uh, Your Honor. It's very much possible. For example, sa isang balit na airport, alimbawa sa Naga, mm -hmm. yung mga hindi masyado ginagamit na airport, alimbawa sa, sa Samar, may mga airports na malilit doon. Apo. Marami pong mga private airstrips, Your Honor, all over the Philippines. The exact yeah. figure is not with us, but we can mm -hmm. confirm with the... But you cannot Kaka, say that they are very strict because yes. they are... Wala, walang, representative, walang representatives from CAAP. That's, oh. that's How correct. can they monitor the, the flights over there? That's correct, Your Honor. Monitoring is, a, is going to be a problem in that case. And so it, it, it's possible. It's possible. Very much possible. That is possible. one theory. That it's possible for them, the person's interest, to escape. It's very much known, pati po mga flying schools, may mga private airs. Yes. Sikinising mm -hmm. rin ito. Eh. Maraming pera ito. Bayaran na lang yung kung sino man involved. Mm -hmm. Di ba? Yes, Your Honor. Yeah. That's very much possible. And uh, Thank the you, third SP Pro Tempore. Please continue. Yeah. The third option, uh, pwede pong hybrid. Meron pong flight and then merong via sea. But very telling. We have to consider uh, Your Honors the passport stamps saying that July 18, 2024, she, the subject uh, entered the uh, Kuala Lumpur International Airport. And then the other stamp po, which states that July 19, sa Saba. Um, I have to reiterate, Your Honors, that this is a pending investigation, ongoing investigation. And we had to do verification and validation on our own. And uh, based on our validation, it was confirmed uh, what uh, Senator uh, Contiver said, that uh, the subject, Alice Go, entered Kuala Lumpur International Airport on July 18 uh, at 1217. Um, we thank uh, your because honors for pointing us in the right direction. Because after Senator Risa delivered her privileged speech that the uh, uh, and revealed that Alice Go was already in Malaysia. And did you deny it the next day? You were not aware of it. Buti pa si Senator Risa alam. Kayo hindi alam. We, we would like to thank uh, Senator Antibor 
Ang hindi meron sa guardian that Ibig mo sabihin, mas magaling intelligence niya sa office niya kaysa sa inyo. Uh, Your Honors, we, naman nun. Apo, we would like to thank uh, Senator Hindi Bayras for pointing us in the right direction. But uh, we would like, we had to confirm also on our own, Your Honor. And uh, it corroborated. But he denied it the next day. Your Honor. That, that uh, Alice Go was still in the country after the privilege speech delivered by Senator Risa. If I may, Your Honor, I, I wasn't the one who denied it. Uh, I, was, oh, it I wasn't the uh, place it, yet, Your Honor. Honor. Yes, it was the bureau at it the time. Bureau, yeah. And now we are the hearing the report denied. of the same yes. bureau, uh, oh, their right. latest ongoing findings. Yes. Oh, and, uh, After she delivered her privilege speech that Alice Go left the country, that the next day you denied that that she was in, in another country, that she was still here in the Philippines. Commissioner, I hope you understand why we feel very strongly about this. Yes, Dahil nung no, no. iyon, just before uh, we discovered and shared on in plenary na nakatakas na pala si Alice Go, I remember there was a hearing, pangako po ng BI noon, sa amin, yes, ni SP Pro Tempore, based on his questioning, na andito pa si Guo Hua Ping sa Pilipinas at hindi siya patatakasi ng BI. Yun pala at that time, she had already escaped. So, kaya po, I I'm sure you can understand uh, how strongly we feel po about this. At the same time, na-appreciate uh, ko po yung uh, uh, report that you are making to us now sa inyong yes, ongoing investigation. It's good to hear. Yes, Kino-confirm niyo po yung information namin na talagang pumasok sa KL International and, Airport si Nagwo Huaping on July 18. Yes, Your Honor. It was also stated that there is no record of entry into Saba on July 19, 2020. Mm -hmm. Opo. Similar dun sa napag-alaman namin na yung stamp supposedly entering Saba July 19 was fake. Yes. Unlike po yung kinoconfirm nyo na rin ngayon na genuine stamp of arrival at KL International Airport on July 18. Tama July po? 18, yung entry po. Okay. There was a confirmation of the entry of the subject into Kuala Lumpur International Airport on July 18, okay. 2024 at 12.17. You know? And uh, in, the event that, with your report. in the event that there are any mistakes made in the past, we would like to rectify that, Your Honors. And hopefully, wala nang repeat po niyan. Ang, ang bubuin po namin, hindi lang findings but recommendations, yes, including through remedial legislation, ay yes, para hindi hindi na mangyari ulit yan so in the hands of BI. But I'm sure, just Senator to clarify, Joel. Arrival, you're talking about arrival July po. 18. Yeah. Arrival in yes, Malaysia. Po. So that was the first time you got this information that she's already out of the country. The sighting, the, the official sighting, official document that says She's no longer in the country. That's July 18 in Malaysia. We confirmed. We were able to confirm it. Yeah, that's the yes. only. That's the first one. The first one, you, you realize that she's no longer in the country. Um, personally, Your Honor, I, when I was appointed as the OIC, uh, I immediately sought the authorization from our mother agency to conduct the investigation. So what I did was I sent out notices and so, sent out memoranda to require our terminal heads to submit their respective reports. And uh, the confirmation that we, we got from impartial third-party sources was only given to us more than a week ago, Your Honor. Yes, uh, SP Pro Tempore. Yes. When did you get to know that Alice Go already escaped the country? Is it because of the privilege speech delivered by personally, Your Honor. Uh, personally, Your Honor. Or the bureau. The bureau. The bureau. The bureau. Um, I cannot speak for the whole bureau, but I only learned about it on August 19 when during the day. After the privileged speech of Senator Risa. Uh, yeah, Your Honor. Yes. I. I that, that's the truth, Your Honor. Thank you for about for the, the truth, uh, Commissioner, and also for as uh, the, the chair said earlier, updating the committee now about the results of the ongoing investigation. Can you complete your report uh, to the committee for yes, uh, full uh, knowledge? We will complete the report, Your Honor. Ah, so pero for today, you na po ba yung may ulat sa amin? Yes, for Your Honor, we can give a copy to the members of the committee, so for your study and perusal. Yes, Senator Sherwin. Madam Chair, just pursue a, a topic. Uh, confirm, uh, uh, Commissioner, na July 18, 2024, si Miss Guo Huaping arrived in KL 12.17 p.m. 12.17 uh, hours po. So that would be noon. Noon. Noon time. time. So, and that stamp is authentic? 
Uh, what uh, the third party source said was, we can confirm that she entered. She entered the uh, Kuala entered Lumpur because of that, Airport. and the evidence is that stamp. Uh, we started off with the, the query with uh, providing them with the stamp. Okay, and they confirmed that the stamp is authentic. They confirmed the entry, Your Honor. What's the difference? Uh, What's the difference? Uh, isn't the end? Isn't the stamp the the evidence of the entry? Yes, Your Honor. Oh, yes, so Your pareho Honor. lang siya. Uh, yes. Tama? Your Honor. Yes. Your Honor. So paano siya? Ano anong sinakyan niya? It's an airport, so obviously it's an airplane. Yes, Your Honor. So what are the? Uh, I'm sure you've seen. Siguro chinek niyo yung airlines arriving at that time. We are in the process of uh, asking for the manifests mm -hmm. to okay. determine where. Uh, she came from where the flight to Kuala Lumpur International Airport. She, where did she? That's uh, we're in the process of verifying that. Wala right? pa tayong information. Wala pa po kami. At sigurado tayong nag-aeroplano siya. Yes po. Uh -huh. okay. Papasok ng uh, Malaysia. When can we get that information? Because we are in the only, process. It's only government to government that can get that information. We will try with the different airlines, Your Honor. Can, so can the, the KL authority in Air, KL airport provide that information? Alam nila lahat ng mga aeroplano pumapasok doon eh. At that time, at that particular time. There might be issues uh, concerning diplomacy or... We, we are not sure, Your Honor. We, we had to... Uh, frankly, what, Your Honor, we had to do some back channeling. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but what's the, what's the issue with diplomacy? It's only a flight manifest coming from an airport. Yes, Your Honor. We, so we, I, we, I don't see the what we, At this point, Your Honor, what we can do is, or what we've been doing, is asking, we are requesting from uh, airlines as to the copy of their manifest. Baka pag and airline, ang dami eh. Diba? Dapat yung airport, kasi alam nila lahat ang pumapasok yeah, doon. If, if you, I may, Senator yeah, Sherwin, maybe, Commissioner, you could ask, you could request the assistance of DFA if there are really any diplomatic considerations kasi kung wala naman it seems pretty straightforward nga po yes, just to get the manifests from the airlines landing in KL at that well, time what we can do your honor what we've been doing is checking our own internal records as to the ano po yung mga flights na maaring umalis ng uh, Manila diretso papunta po ng Kuala Lumpur uh, aside from that we have been making representations with airlines para kung ano po yung pwede lang i-reveal in accordance with their flight manifest. But I think it's harder, sorry, but Senator Chair, Joel. Sorry, but I think it's harder, sir. Yes, Attorney sir. Joel, no, with all due respect, parang it's harder. It's easier to go straight to the airport and find out anong airline yan. Is it yes, a commercial well, flight? It is is it a private plane? We will do that. No, but as of now, you don't have any idea. Hindi po namin ginagawa na do, to go direct directly to the airport. To the Honor. airport. Uh -huh. Panay, I, ano I, po, I, yung I, records po namin na. We, we're, I just uh, wonder why. And one more thing that I'd like to ask: How sure are you na siya yon? Because Guawa Ping and Alice Go can even ayoman ayom ay nyo kami na siya si Guawa Ping eh. We had to go through channels, Your Honor, and uh, it is a impartial third party source. Which and that is cite. that that is what you believe in that it is really her who arrived yes, in uh, uh, Malaysia, July 18, 2024. That's correct, Paul, Your Honor. Madam Chair, if I Thank may. Thank you, Senator Joel. Uh, yes, and before I call on the SP pro tempore, uh, I agree with uh, Senator Joel. Rather than starting from here, Pilipinas, hindi pa nga ma-identify paano siya umalis saan exactly when, since na-confirm yun na po na she arrived in KLIA July 18, 18. 12, 17 p.m., then obviously it's easier to work backwards yes, from, from there. Kasi, and earlier, kinonfirm ko rin through our corroborating uh, party in in Malaysia, yung DAP, Member of Parliament, na genuine yung stamp yung tinatanong din ni Senator Sherwin kanina. So, I think it's easier to, to yes, start from the KLIA na alam niyong lumapag siya doon kesa mag-search sa maaring pinagliparan or pinag, pinag uh, sampahan niya dito sa Pilipinas. Uh, uh, SP Pro yes, Tempore? Uh, yes, SP Pro Tempore. Attorney Joel, kasi dito, yes. uh, pag uh, uwi ng pasahero dito sa atin, tinatataka ng uh, immigration officer passport natin, yes, arrival. Yes, 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 at meron sinusulat yung flight number. Yes, diba? Doon ba sa Kuala Lumpur, kung nakita niyo yung passport ni Alice Go, wala bang tatak na walang sinusulat na flight number? or vessel number? Uh, wala pong ano eh, uh, negligible. Wala pong 
nakalagay. Walang walang nakasulat. Oh, oh. Pero meron blank kung doon sa, sa stamp nila, meron nakalagay na kung uh, kung paano ka nakarating doon sa uh, uh, sa Kuala Lumpur, it's either through sea or by air. Wow, wala pong nakalagay yung ano. Ang nakalagay lang po doon, meron pong stamp ng isang uh, airline. But the thing is, upon verification, it was an outbound flight if you papasok ng Kuala Lumpur. Sa arrival, po. nakalagay? Outbound do, flight? Do, do, no, sa ano po. Uh, yun pong flight uh, number. Uh, ID 177, 177, if I'm not mistaken. Is an out, outward, outbound flight. Was Hindi po siya papasok. What airline na. was that? I think Bat Batik Air po. Huh? Batik Air po yan. Indonesian Bat Air. Air. Indonesia? Oh, Indonesia. Pero palabas po ng Kuala Lumpur yun, hindi po papasok. Uh, salamat, uh, SP Pro Tempore. Um, so, if kompleto na po yung report nyo sa amin of your um, ongoing investigation, yes, po, yeah. ano yung pinaka-conclusion nyo about the escape of Go Huaping and her party? She, As of now, no? She, ano yung preliminary conclusion? She entered nyo? Malaysia via air. Yes. Via air? Via air. On so, July 18th. Okay. She entered Malaysia via air. Yun are yung you, malakas are you sure? Are you sure? How many percent are you sure that she flew to Indonesia by air? Uh, Malaysia. To Malaysia. Uh, Malaysia. Uh, well, we're basing it on the confirmation as to her actual entry into Kuala Lumpur. So the, based on that. the, uh, the revelation of Alice Go uh, during the previous hearings that uh, she went to Malaysia was via sea. Mm. It's totally false. Uh, if uh, she went uh, to Malaysia via sea, it might have been through Sabah. And Sab there is no record of entry of Alice Go into Sabah on July 19, 2024. We, uh, there, there was a stamp in their passports, yes. but it was proven to be fake. Yes. Hindi siya There's no record of entry. Opo. So walang, as far as the BI is concerned, tama po ba, Commissioner, walang uh, record of entry. Mm -hmm. ni Go Hoping and her party sa Saba, Saba po. on, on 19, July 19, July. 2024. So yung sinasabi din ni Sheila Go during the, the first time that she appeared, na sinasabi niyang uh, sumakay siya sa boat is, to is also totally false. If you conclude that... We uh, might presume that, Yon. If uh, you conclude that they flew by air, by plane. Yes, Yon. You might presume that, Yon. Thank you, as SP Pro Tempore. Yes, Senator Sherwin. Madam Chair, on the same topic, uh, Commissioner, I suggest kasi meron na tayong time. May, yes, meron na tayong date. Meron tayong stamp. We can also get the CCTV. Mm -hmm. I, I would assume that uh, in KL Air Airport may CCTV yan. And then second, KL Airport, malaking airport to. Ah. Yes, po. Right. So pagtatanungin natin yung isa-isa yung airlines, it's like looking for a needle in a haystack. Mm -hmm. So it's uh we need to go to the airport. They have all the manifest. Lahat ng airline na pumapasok on that particular day, pwede nating kunin yung uh, mga airlines and work. Tama nga, sabi nga ni, ni Sir Perso, work back para makita natin. We, we were tracing Kasi it back, is, Your Honor. That is a, an important clue. Eh. Yes, Paul, Your Honor. Yung stamp on, uh, on July uh, 18. It's a clue that we can already start working on. Yes, Your Honor. We will do that, Your Honor. And of course, pagaling Pilipinas yan, then there's an issue on how she manage to board a plane Yapo. and leave the Philippines. At least natulog, natuldo ka na po yung date of entry niya at oras papunta, papasok ng Malaysia. So all we need to do is trace back. Yes. So at least yung pong time frame at timeline natin na limit na po natin. P pwede ba so, na, pwede ko ba ang tanongin, Madam Chair, si Ms. Go? Yes, bakit nga Ms. may Go, time? Okay. Bakit nga meron kang September, July 18 entry in KL? <clears throat> Uh, Sen, regarding pa, regarding po that I invoke my right against self-incrimination po. Thank you po. 